Hello everybody, this is Stannis here, back in Super Mario Odyssey. In the last episode, we finished collecting all of the purple coins, and we also got a few moons. In this episode, we're going to go ahead and buy uh, the rest of the stuff in the purple coin shop, and we're going to actually go ahead and uh, start getting down on a lot of the moons that we have left in this kingdom. There aren't that many left for the basic moons. We still have special moons to unlock as well, though, so keep that in mind. Right now we have 28 of 45. Our next moon is going to be moon number 9, so I will see you guys at that one. So over here we should be able to go ahead and find this area here. And I believe our goal is going to be heading over to find... I believe we're going down here. So we go ahead and head this way. We're going to want to head down here. And I believe we should find... Yep, there we are. Oh, come on. So we're going to want to capture this thing here. And we're going to go ahead and head this way. Be careful. If you fall, you're probably not getting back up too easily. So. Climb up here. Get this moon here. Alright. Alright. We have one other moon in this area, probably. So let's go ahead and head this way again. Uh-oh. Alright, go up here. This wall is going to take you back this way. Alright, no, it's just a means of getting out of here, I guess. Alright, so now I will see you guys at the next moon, which is moon number 12. I'll see you there. Alright, so if we warp back to the Odyssey, we'll actually be able to go this way. And there should be a spike on one of the fences here that we should be able to use to get a moon. Yep, there it is. There's our next moon. Let's go ahead and grab it real quick. Alright, our next moon is going to be number 13. So what we want to do is we want to, um... Wait, no. We want to go ahead and head over back. Come on back to this flag here and what we're gonna do we're gonna start we're gonna roll all the way over here we're gonna go ahead and use this and we're actually going to fall down onto Bowser's nose there all right once we're here go ahead and just ground pound right here you can go ahead and grab the moon from there Alright, our next moon is going to be moon number 20. I'll see you there. Alright, so what you want to do here, you want to go ahead and capture one of these birds. Um, I believe the moon is somewhere around this area. If we... No, not here. Um... There it is. So we actually want to go ahead and head this way. Oh no! <laughs> that was a mistake and a half. Alright, but yeah, that's where the moon is. We're going to go ahead and grab that real quick. Let's go ahead and capture the uh, Pokio. I found out what it's called. I looked at my capture list, so now I can ca start calling these things by their actual names, which is Pokio. Sounds kind of like a Pokemon name. It kind of looks like a Pokemon a bit, but not a big deal. Alright, and yes, I say Pokemon, because that's literally how it's pronounced. I'm not trying to be a stickler slash nerd for Pokemon. I don't. Pokemon's not my favorite franchise, but I, I, if it's pronounced a certain way, I'm going to pronounce it that way. I'm, I'm, a gr I'm a grammar stickler, I guess. I'm not a geek stickler. I have not even played all the Pokemon games. I haven't even beat all of the ones that I own. Alright, anyway, heading back over here, we're going to try to get this again. The boxes are going to give us trouble, I guess, because it does seem like we're very good at coordinating breaking them at the same time as, uh... What? Whoa. Oh, that was a close one. Alright, now we can go ahead and head on in, grab the moon. Bada bing, a bada boom. Alright, let's go ahead and head into the pipe here. So our next moon is moon number 22, and we're actually going to want to head to the second courtyard. We're going to go ahead and capture one of these things here. 
And what we want to do is we want to head over in this direction. Where we're going to go ahead and go past these bombs here. And we're just going to gradually make our way to this uh, kind of platform type area. And what we want to do, we want to blow that part of the wall up right there. Alright, and now we just peck. Uh, there we go. Alright, look at that, look at there. Alright, now that we're here, we have moon number 22. Our next moon is going to be moon number 27. So I will see you guys at that moon. For moon number 27, you are going to want to head back up here. And real quick, I am actually going to take my uh, screenshot photo here. This is going to be a very nice one. Let's turn the display off. This is our screenshot for today's episode. Very nice indeed. I like that one. Alright. Now, if we go ahead and move over here, we're going to be able to find Lakitu here. And what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be going fishing again. So what we want to do is we want to find the large fish somewhere around here. I don't know exactly where it can be found, but it's somewhere. Uh, the fish are somewhat difficult to see against this uh, kind of drop area. So we just got to be a bit patient, I guess. Alright. So we have one fish right here. Let's go ahead and grab this see we see if it's something nice all right it's not what we were looking for let's go ahead and see if we can't find another shadow um not in this area no all right let's see if we can't find anything else I'm gonna try going over this way all right I'm not seeing... Actually, is that something right there? Yeah, it is. Okay, let's go ahead and check these ones out. Alright, not that one. Hmm. I need to find another one somewhere. Alright. Oh! I think I see a big one right there. Yeah, that's a big one. Alright. Let's see what we get. Come on. Bite. I feel like I'm playing Animal Crossing. Wait, no. That was wrong. I do have to wait for the big bite. That's my bad. So let's wait for it to appear again. Assuming it will. Are we in its spawn area? Is that why it's not spawning in? What's going on? It should be back soon. Hello? Alright, um... Doesn't seem to want to spawn in. Oh, there it is. We had to get farther away from it. Alright, now let's go back near it and try to catch it again. Come here, dude. Oh! We got it! Alright, Poochie, what? <laughs> I didn't expect that one. I thought it was going to be a large cheap cheap. Okay, whatever. Our next moon is going to be moon number 31. I'll see you there. Alright, for this next moon, we actually want to be in the souvenir shop. And we're going to go ahead and go in here. And we're going to speak to this guy. He's going to let us in because we're dressed like a samurai. And when we go inside this door, we're going to be able to do a 8-bit area. So let's go ahead and jump inside this warp pipe here. And this is a uh, very interesting one. Uh, I was apparently on one heart. Okay. <laughs> Either that or there's just no limit with the 8-bit ones. Whatever, let's go ahead and try again. So, what you want to do is jump between these mushrooms. The thing with the mushrooms is that they do, they do, uh, fall when you jump when you uh, stand on him so be careful with that now here I believe there is an extra moon in this area we can get so be careful with uh, trying to find it 
I don't remember exactly what it is, but it is somewhere in here. Alright, now that we're down here, we can go through this warp pipe here. Oh, there it is. That's the extra moon. That's not the final moon. So this Koopa here, I think, is somewhat useful for this. But I'm not going to bother using him. And if we jump on this platform here, we can go ahead and grab the rest of those. And die! Okay. We're going to have to do that again. Great. Awesome. Alright. I will see you guys when we get back to that spot. Alright, we're getting this uh, note moon again. Now let's stay on the mushroom when we grab these ones. And now we can just go ahead and bounce ourselves back up there. Alright, now let's go through this pipe. And this should be the... Yeah, this is the last area that we need to worry about. Let's go ahead and grab these coins real quick. We want to uh, wait to get this turtle on. Now that we have the Koopa on the platform, we can go ahead and start breaking these blocks here. We just need to move it down. And it's going to break the rest of the blocks that need to be broken. There we go. Now let's grab the moon. And skedaddle on out of here. Our next moon is going to be moon number 33. So I'll see you guys at that one. Alright, so moon number 33, we're actually going to want to go back to this area here. Jump down this way, and there should be a door somewhere around here that we can go inside. Yeah, it's that one right there. So we go ahead and head that way. I believe we can actually go ahead and go in this door. Uh, we need to open it somehow. Where's the lever? I don't actually know where the lever is, so... Uh, this could take a sec. Um, hmm. Wait. No. Actually, I found it out. We're supposed to kill this thing. Once it's dead, we can go ahead, and, uh, the door will go ahead and open. So we'll go ahead and round pound its head. The door will open, and we can go ahead and go in there. So this is a rather, uh, Rather large area, I guess. We're going to be using a... I already forgot its name. We're going to be using this thing to climb up the wall here. It's not a very complicated puzzle, but it could take a while, depending on uh, how your skill set is with the bird, I guess. There's a lot of coins here we can grab. I'm going to go ahead and grab those just because I'm going to want to start uh, working on getting coins soon. For... Oh god. Alright, let's try this again. Climb up here. Try to avoid the rotating platforms. There is an extra moon somewhere up here. It has to do with the rotating areas. I'm not sure exactly where it is, though. If we go up here, we should be able to find the first one. We gotta find a key somewhere now. And that will unlock us the other moon. So around here we have a bunch of... Uh... Actually, hold on. Let's fall down here. Oh. Ooh. All right. Here's the key. We have broken the other moon loose. And now we want to climb back up again. So let's go ahead and uh, make our way out of here. Make your way up, actually. Oh, God. No. No. Okay, we have to get it again. I'll just see you guys when we reach the top. Alright, we've made it back up to the top. Let's go ahead and grab the moon now. Alright. Very nice. Uh, okay. I guess we'll go ahead and go over here and grab these coins too. Might as well. Might as well. Alright, go ahead and climb up here. Grab these guys. Very nice. Alright, I'll see you guys at the next moon. Alright, so now this part, we're going to go ahead and go into this warp pipe here. And we're going to be going to this area. Now, this area is, I guess, somewhat... I, I don't know, I don't actually think I've done this part before. So never mind, uh, don't quote me on anything I say about this level, because I have not done it yet. Alright, if we go across here, we can actually go ahead and uh, find ourselves a nice spot. That's just a heart, but not a big deal. 
We can use uh this Jizo statue here. Or I don't know. I don't know if it's Jizo or Gizo. But if we head down here, we'll have this wall here. We have some uh yellow Goombas here. I don't I don't know if they're called anything else. I just call them yellow Goombas because that's what they are. So if we head over to this platform here. We'll go ahead and jump down here real quick. Then give the platform a second to come back down. Alright, and now we just gotta wait to go up again. I don't think we need the Gizo statue, but not a big deal. Oh wait, no, actually we do need it. My bad. Alright, let's get in the platform. Alright, and we are up. Let's hop across. And here we are. Alright, let's go ahead and activate this thing. Let's just hop across here. This part here shouldn't give us any trouble, really. Because the Gizo are immune to spikes. And now if we hop across here, we can go ahead and activate this one. We're gonna need one Gizo statue over here now. So if we go ahead and take it this way, I believe. Alright, there's one wall. Now if we go ahead and head over here, capture the other one. We can go ahead and activate the other one. Come on. And if we head up here, we should be able to get the next moon. That uh, metal wall right there is giving me vibes of a hidden moon. So I'm gonna see if I can't find a way to get that in a second. But first we're gonna go ahead and grab this moon right here. Alright, so now if we go down here, we're gonna go ahead and actually almost land there, but failed miserably. Alright. We're gonna have to do all that again, I'll just go ahead and cut when I have things done. Now if we actually go and take one of these statues all the way back to the beginning of the area, which is why these spikes are here, kind of, I guess, we can actually go ahead and find a uh, button here that we can go ahead and press with this one. And that should reveal the other moon there. So we're going to go ahead and leave that guy there. If we jump across here, we should be able to get across now. And we just need to make our way across here and jump up this area. Just make sure you are able to reach that moon. Alright. Hi, yeah, yeah. All right, our next moon is going to be moon at number 39. I will see you guys at it. So for moon number 40 or 39, we're actually going to want to look for this set of binoculars here. And when we go up, we'll actually be able to find a uh, sphinx flying around. So once we see the sphinx, we should be granted the moon it has. It's going to fly down, it's going to take a bit because it's so far up, but not a big deal. Alright, with that all said and done, let's go ahead and grab that. And now I believe there's somebody on one of these uh, areas, also hint art here real quick. Cactus at the very edge. Now let's grab one of these Pokios here, uh, get rid of that guy, and I believe there's somebody up here who wants to see a specific thing, but I don't remember what it is, I want to find the guy. Alright, uh, where is he at? Hmm. I know he's somewhere. It, I, hmm. Is he here? He might be on a different roof, I'm not, I'm not sure. I know there was somebody who wanted to see something. I think it was one of these birds, too, but I'm not sure. Alright, let's just look for him. Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah, he did want to see this thing. Very nice. 
Yay indeed, I guess. Alright. With that all said and done, our next moon is going to be moon number 41. So let's go ahead and find, uh, where's the regular cup? Cooper free running, there it is. Alright, so now we gotta look for him. Here he is. Let's speak to him. I do indeed wish to race. Sorry about that. Oh. Oh, oh boy. Oh, it's all the way at the start? All right. All right. Just gotta keep heading this way, I guess. Okay, this is, uh... I don't know if this really feels difficult. I'm so far ahead of everybody else that it's not really... Yeah, this isn't really difficult. This, I'm surprised that this is actually a race in the game. Because it doesn't feel like this is difficult in any way. They're nowhere even near us, I don't think. I'm not entirely sure, but I just don't think they are. <laughs> Alright. Moving this way. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! That was a miss, a miss aim, I guess. Alright, let's roll this way. Go oh, no, 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 no. Alright, just gotta make it back down here. Jump across this way again. Alright. Yeah, this is a pretty simple race, I guess. As long as we just keep holding this lead. Alright. Get to the pylon. Alright, to the next area we go. Bop, 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 bop. Alright, our next area is this way. Go ahead and head this way. Oh no, we're low on health. Let's go ahead and cross this area. Okay. We're about a bit less than halfway there. I cannot uh, miss aim this time. Because if we do, we have to restart the whole race, and that's not fun. Alright, go! We're almost at the end. And I don't see any sign of uh, the others really catching up with us. So, I don't think we need to worry about that. Uh, okay, we gotta avoid these Goombas as our last uh, obstacle of sorts. And here we are. Now, uh, for a second, I just want to see how long it takes for them to catch up. So, um... Let's just sit here for a bit. Oh, there's... <laughs> okay. That, that That's not very, uh, very long. All right. That was easy as pie. My God. All right. Now we're actually going to want to head over to the arena again. So we go ahead and zap up this way. Come on. We go over this way. We can go ahead and slingshot over to this arena. And I think, um, I actually did a little scouting around in the last episode, and I think our area is actually where these birds are. I'm not sure, though. It's around here. I feel a really strong rumble right there. Yep, there we are. Alright, got the moon. 
And our last moon we have yet to get is the Art Moon. So we're going to go ahead and head over to the Sand Kingdom in a second. I'll see you guys there. So now that we're in the Sand Kingdom, we actually want to find that lone cactus on the edge. I believe it's actually over in this direction, but I'm not sure. So I'll just uh, see you guys when I find it, I guess. Alright, so our moon is over here near the Moai habitat. We're going to head over to, uh, I believe it is... Not that ledge, but it's another ledge somewhere else. It's on the other side here. One sec. So if we jump across here find our moon behind this cactus. Let's jump here, or here, there it is. Alright, so now I will see you guys in the next episode when we complete Bowser's Kingdom with the extra moons. Goodbye.